Hey guys, it's December the 8th, and I want to go over some serious ranking results caused by using the Moji Pro to generate a bunch of web pages with backlinks uh, on a few different sites. If you guys remember, sometime back I asked some guys for uh, access to their FTP domains that they're not using for anything, so we could do a bunch of backlink generation projects and see how things are going. Uh, the results are serious, and I want to go over that, and I got a few other notes to make, so let me just start somewhere. And let me start by showing you something on the side, because this is kind of an interesting thing, too. It's sort of tangent to the point. Small business idea. Okay. I just want to make a point about this because it's just it, it's easy to get lost. Otherwise, there's like 18,000 web pages on smallbusinessidea.com and almost no backlinks. Just a small smattering enough to make this site emulate the way a real website would go. This website's being used for all kinds of tests. And some of the tests that are here are pretty wild and that's what I want to point out. Matter of fact, they're so wild it's not funny. Out of this, like 17,900 really, when I click to the next page, about 18,000, uh, there's something like four or 5,000 links here and it might be more that Google is indexed where the pages are actually absolutely identical, one after the next, after the next, after the next, with one exception, the keyword. In this case, the keyword is like small business idea, Addison IA. And the only thing that really changes is the geotargeting associated with the keyword. And that's done all throughout the page, like if I click here. Okay, here is this, and if you keep looking down, you see how this goes. All right, there it is. There's a keyword, small business idea, Addison IA. Okay, now, there are, like I said, like 4,000 or 5,000 pages that Google has actually indexed, where that is the only thing that changed. Why? Because the page is completely optimized for it. As a matter of fact, let me go back and just make the point this way. Let's do this, small business idea, Addison IA. And if I'm going to copy that so I can show keyword density, okay, on the page, what do I have? Once in the title, seven times in the body, it's almost a 4% uh, keyword density in the body. It's in the tags, it's in the links, it's in bold, meta description, meta keywords, it's all there. And if I go to another page, it's got the same breakdown for the other keyword and the other keyword and the other keyword and the other keyword. So we just got all these pages up and Google actually took them. That was interesting because these pages have existed now for like three to four months and Google hasn't taken them down. Again, there's some 4,000 of them, maybe more. Okay, that's one point to make on the side. That's, that it's not something we condone. We don't usually say go create a lot of web pages where all that changes is the city, state combination. But I believe it is important that you guys see that because it does lend credence to the idea that Google can consider your web page as being useful to a particular place. And you can create a whole lot of pages where all you really need to do is make that change geographically. Is that true all across the board and stuff? I don't know. Got to do a lot more testing to see how that goes. You know, where, where the limits are, I'm not sure. All I know is that each page is optimized for the keyword and the keyword includes the geotagging. So that's just something absolutely interesting to keep in mind because that was just an important test to see how that would go. And it got accepted. All right, now let me get into something real. You guys remember the all good roofing example, right? We were trying to get a guy to rank for Austin Roofing, couldn't get him there. What was his website? Allgoodroofing.com. Now, still everything's the same. There's no change to anything on the page or anything like that. But, you know, it still says all good roofing and additions in the title. What is different? This is our oldest project and page rank results for, for a website don't get updated very often. You never see it change day by day. You know, they get updated like every few months or so, uh, probably every three, it's a three month rolling average anyway. But they went from a Google page rank of one to a Google page rank of three. And it took me 45 minutes of work to get that to happen. On a handful of websites generating a whole lot of web pages, per website that all point in at this guy, I was able to get that to happen. That's huge. So with a page rank of three, he has a great deal of push in the rankings to rank for whatever it is his page is about. Right now, Google figures it's about all good roofing and additions. You know, I can't figure anything else out. So let me just show you an example of what that means. This is page title, right? So let's just go off of it. What if we did a search for all good roofing, okay? There are 10,400,000 results. There are ads all the way down the side. 
and this guy is number one underneath these top three ads here. The first guy to show up is this guy. Why? because he has a page rank three. It's a pretty big page rank anyway for an average kind of website like a roofer anywhere. Okay, and so that's pretty interesting. He's even got the top two spots, really. <clears throat> then comes the next website down. Okay, that's cool. But what else do we have in the title to work with? What about all good additions? Let's try that and see how that goes. Again, he's a page rank three and that's his page title stuff, right? He doesn't have anything on his page saying all good additions, but it's there. There's even an ad here, but take a look, all good roofing and additions, and he's the top guy. This isn't an ad. This is the first result out of 43,400,000 that have something to do with all good additions, okay, for all kinds of things, music festival, artist, everything else. He's no more optimized than they are, but he's a page rank three. It's a big deal. Let's try to get tighter keywords. What about good roofing? After all, it phrases together in his title. And let me see, we have one, two ads, and he's the second guy down, okay? So 49,700,000 results. He's number two organically out of all of them. Again, there's ads here. And that goes to show what the power of a PageRank 3 backlink, well, PageRank 3 does for your website. What about good additions? I mean, that's got to be a stretch. All good roofing's here. So he's, what, the fifth one down out of 122 million results. What's that mean? This guy really wants to be showing up for what? He wants to show up for Austin roofing, or at least Austin TX roofing. Okay, so what's he need to do to get that to happen, really? He's got all this page rank push, and what he needs to do is be competitive with these guys. Most guys do not have a page rank three. Some might have more. He can climb way up here, and he can probably be a chunk of the way up the front page if he just gets Austin TX Roofing into his page title. It should say something like Austin TX Roofing Pipe, you know, all good roofing and additions. Okay, that's how his page title should look. Something like that. That way Google can grab Austin and roofing and um, Austin TX along with the roofing and he can be showing up for some of the stuff and that's a really, really big deal. I mean, obviously you see him come up here now uh, because of all this, but that's the point. It's really, really a big deal. And again, I got all that to happen with one run that took about 45 minutes, okay? Got him from a page rank one to a page rank three. Now, let me go over some quick notes because this is where I pick up from here, all right? Here's a sample of keywords I ran on that big backlinking project I did for different websites, okay? And I got, well, okay, what do the, all these keywords have in common is that they're all high competition according to the Google search keyword tool. So these are not the low hanging fruit keywords we used to tell people about, you know, having to go and get. We, never, we used to say go after the low. Now we can get mediums and we can get highs. This is just a sample. There's actually quite a few more. These were from the first batch of code inserts that I did. We got web pages to rank on page one or page two for all the keywords above inside a month. And... We did all of it within 40, with a single 45 minute job. That is, I lined up up to five backlinks per page and ran them out on several sites to get thousands of pages that had the backlinks, okay? On just a few sites, it wasn't many. It was like, um, oh, probably eight involved with this, this stack here all together. And it was 45 minutes of work. And we did not even touch these sites except for a few of them where we made some slight on-page SEO tweaks like I was just showing you with the All Good Roofing guy. Some websites you have access to the site. The guy will let you have access or he'll make sure his webmaster does what you say. Other sites, no. Whatever. Let me give you an interesting example with this one. Buy Vitamin B17, just to make the point. This guy isn't even optimized for Buy Vitamin B17 at all. You know, just kind of the same way that the first guy was. And he used to be on like page 20. He's right here. Buy apricot seeds. If you hit that thing, uh, the page rank, we got to see if it'll catch up. He might be a Google page rank three by now. He may be there. This has not been Moji or anything. We didn't touch this site. Never touched anything here. Um, what's it say in the title? It says home vitamins plus. 
What in the world does that have to do with buy vitamin B17? The wording's not here at all. Let's look at the keyword density for buy vitamin B17 and just see what happened. Huh, nothing. Nothing in the title, nothing in the body, nothing in the tags, nothing in the links or bold or meta description. He's got literally no business showing up for vitamin B17. Now, he does have uses of the word buy. Okay, this is the only way it can work. He has two word buys in the body of the page, and he's got one in a link and one bolded. That's it. That's all he has for the word buy. So what about vitamin B17? I'll just take them together because it's like what he's promoting. Vitamin V17. And he's got four usages in the body and nothing else. Now, what's really interesting about the power of where he is, if we look at the guy that comes right above him, Okay, this is him. This is the guy that comes right above him. Why didn't he beat that guy out? Let's just take a look. This is a page rank six website. That's going to be a tough one to beat until you get a lot more than just 45 minutes of backlinking done. You do that a few times. Okay, and then you can get it. Now, he does have vitamin B17 and stuff in his page title, so he has a better overall quality score. And look at the main page title right here, the H1 tag, presumably. How to purchase vitamin B17, stuff like that. So he is like flatly optimized for this thing, but he's only the next guy up. Who's the next guy after him? Amazon, all right? So, you know, he's really in a good realm, and so... The guy is here because he's got the words buy, he's got the words vitamin B17, but even then, that's what, what's that for a word? Um, he's there with very, very, very little optimization, and he really shouldn't be here. I think you guys get that point. Let me take a look at this. What about vitamin B17? I mean, you, you know, you start with Wikipedia and Amazon, of course, and then shopping results for vitamin B, B17. The guy's like on page three, and there he is. And the reason, again, that he's not further along is when you look at his website, he has almost no reason to be there. You know, you show the keyword density for vitamin B17, he's barely there, right? And if you look at his competitors, like the guy right above him, below him, heck, we can look at the guy below him, you know? I'm going to imagine, yeah, vitamin B17 is in several links. There's B17 anyway. He had vitamin B17 a few. And I'm going to imagine if I do a show keyword density for, we're just on vitamin B17 now. The word buy doesn't matter in this case. This guy's more optimized than he is. And he's got a page rank of three. That lends credence to the idea, like I was saying, that this might very well be up to a page rank three right now because we did the same kind of backlinking uh, with this that we did with the All Good Roofing site. And we did on websites that had nothing to do with roofing in Austin. Literally no relationship whatsoever. Uh, but it counts. The backlinks count. And we do them by the thousands in one fell swoop. That's what really counts. Now, for guys who are wondering about that, okay, just to make the point, yeah, let me get this out of the way. I want to make a point here. Uh, links right now to Moji Crew. People are saying, how many leaks can count? Like to the Moji placeholder website for crying out loud. You know, Moji samples, which doesn't have any kind of optimization at all. It's just all these dislocated projects that people run up on it, mainly to learn how to use the software. Check this out. FinancialRxSystem.com. Okay. 8,445 backlinks right from there. I, on, and on netserve.pro.info, another 1,598 backlinks from there. These are who links the most to me. Okay, there's more. All right, that's a total backlink run of 10,044. Now, Moji Sample still says a page rank of zero. It could very well be a page rank of two, and we won't see that appear for another couple of months or a month. But what do I want to say? Let me see. Let me go to... Just want to see how this goes, because there's another point. Financial RX, oh, what is it? FinancialRxSystem.com. Okay, only 3,800 pages. And what does that mean? That means that more than one link per page is being counted, at least in some cases. Okay, does the guy have more than one link per page to me? Yes. If we look, any old page, and we were to view the page source, here it is. 
and if we did a search for if we find and let's just say moji dash samples i mean that's pretty unique uh yeah he's got a link to me there it's for an image and he's got a link literally to my site over here he's got a link to another site another page so yeah he's got links to me okay he literally does and so those things point across might even be like right here yeah literally if you click this it goes over to my site <laughs> switches them and so there you go now Google's counting those as backlinks from this other website isn't that interesting matter of fact now how does it look for bigger runs the one that I did like when you're really pushing this thing out making things happen what gets you where and let me just show you an interesting example